Bailey McMaster, um, you are the chair of Historic Glasgow. Would you like to give us um, your feelings on how the Celtic Connections Festival has impacted on the life of the people of Glasgow and how the Celtic Roots Mass has involved the city and the people of the communities? This is a very special um, time of the year because it's the Beltane Festival. So here we have the Celtic Connections has come alive as one of the most vibrant and dynamic festivals that the city houses, hosts and promotes. And the most wonderful thing is it's self-dynamic. People coming, you're, the marketing is of a very special and subtle um, route. People want to come to Glasgow. People want to be in Celtic Connections as performers, the workshops. It flows into the whole educational, adult education, the educational system. Our communities are enriched. People come alive because of traditional music. And there is a search for the roots of Celtic music, song, dance, poetry, literature, the storytelling, because it's where do we come from? And that's what's happening. And that's the real success of Celtic Connections coming to Glasgow. Father Griffiths, the Celtic Roots Mass has been celebrated in St Aloysius for a good number of years now. Can you tell us why it's important to celebrate this Mass here? It's very clear to me, that, and having met so many people who have come to this Mass every year, that the Celtic Roots means so much to people. And it's a wonderful opportunity for them to express their uh, native roots in uh, particularly the liturgy of the Mass. So much is going on in the, the city around music, uh, dancing and other festival uh, arrangements are being made for people to be, to celebrate their, their Celtic nature. Why do you think St Aloysius is the place for this Mass in the city? Well, as you can tell from my voice, I'm a visitor to, to these parts. Uh, I am not a native Scot, nor a native Glaswegian. But I do know that from my few years here, that St Aloysius has meant a great deal to so many people here in the city of Glasgow. They've either visited it as children, or they've had uh, received the sacraments here in the church in their time. It is a city centre church right in the very heart of Glasgow, uh, and I'm sure, therefore, it is a great attraction for people to come here to this church. And thankfully, we have space enough to accommodate them. And we look forward each year to receiving the Celtic Roots Mass here. Francis, you have delighted many of us by your own contribution in song to the Celtic Roots Masses. What in particular have you enjoyed about it? Well, to me, it's uh, really wonderful to have the chance to use Gaelic as part of wor worship. Um, and it's very fitting that Gaelic should have a prominent place in the Celtic Roots ma Mass. Many learners develop a very great love of the language and, of course, for native speakers, it's uh, a very important part of their life. And I remember being very moved once to hear a Gaelic-speaking islander saying it was in Gaelic that we first learned to pray. 
So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for Gaelic speakers, native speakers, to have the chance to pray in their own language and uh, for someone like me to use my beloved Gaelic as a, as a means of prayer and to, to use it in the liturgy. So is the Gaelic. David St. Mungo's Alawa has been distinguished by its contribution for, for the ten years almost of the, of the Celtic Connections Mass. What do they like about it? I think there are three main reasons why they um, come. Um, the first is to participate in the Celtic Connections Festival itself, which has become huge in Glasgow in the month of January. I think the second is that Low St. Mungo's is a relatively large parish in Dunkel Diocese. Because we're remote from the diocesan centre in Dundee, um, the choir don't get the opportunity to participate in too many larger scale events. And thirdly, and I think probably even most importantly, gives them a chance to um, develop and establish their own kind of repertoire. And because we, we take away some of the music that we've been practising for the Celtic Roots Mass and continue practising it for other events in our own year. Cathy, would you like to sum up by telling us what do you think um, the Celtic Roots Mass and the Celtic Connections Festival has brought to Glasgow and the main themes that you have seen running through it? It's very important that the Lord Provost has given recognition to the Celtic Mass just as he starts off the Celtic Connection Festival. Um, and this recognition, I have been involved personally as a Bailey of the city, and it's been a delight to say welcome to Glasgow and to give people a sense that they're being present, particularly at the end of the festival, when all the dust settles and the music's still in your head and people are taking something home with them. And what they take home with them is memories built on genuine exchange of music and song and poetry, dance, and of friendship, friendship enriched by good humour and the sense of enrichment. And that's what the city would like to see as a benefit from having festivals. Mm -hmm. 